eight, seven, six, five, four. For one of three, these uh, robots, they will two, be going home early. One. That's fight. correct. Robots fight. We've seen really good traction from the wheels of Shredded No so far today. Yeah, such an interesting design. Also, I like how it's got that kind of like Vegas Joker vibe to it. Yeah. Let's see what you mean. And they're both on their heads. No. Stoneforge has managed to flip itself back over. Wow, big hit in the air from Stoneforge on Shredded yeah. No. It really looks like Stoneforge has just been dictating the pace of this fight. Kyle, look at that. It's snowing wood in yeah. cage one. Yeah, this whole cage is full of sawdust. After Project Liftoff and Lynx, you can see some of that top uh, plate, that plastic on Shredded No getting peeled away. That's right. Shredded No's weapon does not seem to be functioning at this point. Stoneforge's weapon obviously still is. Really great hits. Wow, Stoneforge is doing an excellent job just controlling his direction, making sure that he's always facing the front of his opponent. And it's paying off every single time. No fancy driving, just keep the bot pointed directly at him. Well, Seems like all the weapons are down right now. Yeah, it sounds very quiet. But now it comes down to pushing power with 90 seconds left here in this fight. Can Shred It No capitalize here? The risk of being flipped, the risk of dying has a... Uh, is diminishing here by the second. They can still win this fight if they can push around Stoneforge. Hard to do. Stoneforge has got a really powerful drivetrain on it. And uh, they've already shown a massive amount of control throughout this Ooh, fight. That's a good pin, though. That's a great pin. Very good work. I wonder if these metal cleats are really uh, the deciding factor here for this fight. Two-wheel design versus a four-wheel design. 40 that, seconds left. But that two-wheel design's got those beautiful metal cleats sticking into this wood. You gotta wonder, though, as that wood kind of gets more and more torn up, is it harder to get a grip, get purchased into those fibers? I would imagine so, Kyle. For sure. You can hear that, uh, that, that grinding sound from Shred It No just here cage side. Sounds like they're doing burnouts. It does, yeah. 10 seconds left here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, this, this one's one definitely going to the judges. Goes to the judges. Shred it, no. Very happy with their performance. Yeah. Sitting there. So let's start with Jack this time. And they pop up on our screens. Hey, Mr. Tweety, how you doing? Tell us what you thought about that fight. Hello. Stoneforge versus Shredder. I use no. my uh, my one skip so I can deliberate some yes. more. You can absolutely use your this one skip to deliberate some more. This might be our first split decision, Kyle. I, I kind of hope so. I'm looking for the drama. You know what I mean? All right, so Don, we'll start with you then. What did you think about that fight? Eh, I think it was pretty cut and dry. Uh, Stoneforge pretty much dominated the match and, you know, even after everything didn't really change my decision. Fair enough. All right, Diana, what do you think? I agree with Don. Um, I'm going to go with Stoneforge. They got a lot of early hits in the first part of the match, and then even when they lost their weapon, it didn't really change what dictated the... It didn't really change it for me, so... All right, fair enough. Go I'm, back I'm to I'm kind of surprised. Kind of surprised Jack. He wasted a skip on this one. He did waste a skip like on this one. Milk tank out of principle. What's that? Uh, milk tank. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh, somebody bring Jack some energy drinks. He's going right. to eat them. We've got two votes for Stoneforge, one vote for Milk Tank. And uh, somebody please check on Jack Tweedy. If you're uh, maybe one of his neighbors or friends. Just swing on by. Maybe get him a tea or something. Get, get the man a tea. Bring the man some energy drinks. There we go. Where's Tim Rackers? We'll send him over there with some, some caffeine. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, uh, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. That was losers bracket round three. Uh, sorry, no. That was win. No, that was losers. Losers bracket, bracket round. Uh, no. Yes, that was losers bracket round three. Yeah. Yeah. We were both in the losers bracket. Yeah. So that's our last time seeing Shredder No for the day. That is interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. I like those 3D printed wheels. They're cool. Uh, especially with, with the spikes. And um, I am, uh, I'm really excited to see if uh, more builders adopt that, uh, that design. It worked really well. Speaking of awesome builders, oh, we've got Anger eight. Management versus what? Red Hades winner's Six, bracket round three five, action. Four, Two really awesome bots three, that have put on some great performances two, today. Really one, excited about five, this fight. Robots, oh, I cannot wait to see Anger Management again. Anger Management, the aggressor. Not you, what you're used to seeing in a Tyler Wynn fight. But look at Let's this. See that punching action? They've got the forks underneath them. Yep, Tyler got oh, on your side. Go. That's not good. Yeah. Oh, that's not a good place to be. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. Tyler yeah. Wynn says, sorry. I know you felt good there at the beginning, but uh, this is going the way it's supposed to go now. The only way to win against Tyler Wynn is to drive perfectly for three minutes. It's so hard to drive perfectly for even 30 seconds. Ooh. Look at that. Beautiful hit there. Beautiful hit there. I love the functioning, self-writing arms. Aaron Hill, if you're watching, start taking notes. Yeah, it's very cool. Wow, there are bits and pieces of anger management being sprayed around here inside of this box. I see something circular. What is that? Yeah, it looks like a gasket, maybe, or uh, like a brushing, a bushing from one of the the. Uh, from one of the gears? It's hard to tell, but uh, that definitely looks like a part that should be on the bot. Anger Management's puncher is still working, but its drive looks like it could be down. Oh, no! Kyle, look at that! Look at Luke. Luke, you're being stuck on the puncher! <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like the drive... Oh, no, nope, the drive is back. And that spinner on Anger Management is spinning up to full speed. Oh, my goodness. Will he be able to get a good angled shot there? And there goes the wheel on that minibot again. That's uh, the dance that that thing does after it loses its wheel is very impressive. Dread oh. Hades ripping more chunks off anger management. Tap out. And, oh, wow. Uh, I'm not surprised. Wow, that was a destructive match. Tap 